Japan's age of the samurai, a special group of military spies were developed to infiltrate enemy castles. They were called ninja. Trained from the age of five, the ninja were dedicated to a life of secrecy and espionage. Ninja are still used today as bodyguards for underworld crime bosses. Even in America, the services of ninja can still be acquired for a price. Welcome, Santos. Is that the money? Yes, I have it right here. But I'd like to discuss the terms. From what I understood by your phone call was that you wanted to use my army from time to time. Is that correct? That is correct. And this is a retainer for the daily rate. Now about those terms. That's not negotiable. Well, I think it's a little high. You find it to be a good value? I hope so. Now may I see you, man? Why not? They're looking at you. Where I don't see anyone. Well, with an army like this, no one would dare oppose me. They'd have to be idiots. jelly sandwiches. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I'm getting sick and tired of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. If you don't like it, why don't you ask your wife to fix something different for lunch? I'm not married. I make my own lunch. You just like to complain. Yeah, cheer up. You shouldn't complain. You shouldn't think negative while you're having food in your stomach. What's that? Some kind of Asian philosophy? Matter of fact, Confucius. Uh, Confucius? Is that somebody like Ma Se Tung? Not quite. We've been working here for over two weeks. Anything exciting ever happened around here? Two weeks? Ha! What have you been working around here two years? Let me tell you guys something. You guys are never going to make it in this life as long as you're working just for wages like me. I'm not suggesting you'll be a gangster like our boss Santos, but you can't work just for Wait wages. Wait what did you say? I said you can't work just for wages. No, I mean about Santos being a gangster. Well, yeah. This whole place is just a front for his operations, for his smuggling. Really? Yeah, it's common knowledge. Most of these crates are legit. But the special ones, the ones that are marked with the dragons, they carry the stuff that makes the real money. What do you think is in them? Uh, gold, diamonds, dope, <laughs> nuclear warheads, anything. Boy, I sure like to get my hands on some of those coal or diamond. Yeah, or a nuclear warhead. Hey, Chick, look. Here are some of those special crates. Boy, I'd sure like to sneak a look in one of these, wouldn't you? Yeah, maybe there are diamonds in there. We could put this right in jail. I don't know about that. That would be stealing, but I sure am curious. We'll be only stealing from the gangsters. Well, that would make us just like them. Yeah, I guess so, but let's take a look anyway. I'll get a hammer. Uh, what if there's animal or snake or a lot of snake inside? Don't worry about it. And stop right there. What do you think you're doing? Uh, we accidentally dropped one of this 
crib here, and uh, we, we were wondering if everything was all right. What if we accidentally drop you and see if you're all right? Uh, I don't think I like that. I think you're gonna get it whether you like it or not. Hey, don't get tough with us. You include a smart ass. You know who this guy is? Bruce Lee's original student. What about you? Are you one of Bruce Lee's students? No, I'm not. I was his teacher. I have taken a new karate expert before and never caused me any trouble. It's kung fu, not karate. And I'm a lot of trouble. So why don't you guys forget this and let us get back to work, huh? You guys start true working here as soon as my boys are finished with you. I think you better change your mind because I promised Bruce not to fight. That's but if I have to, I will. That's right. That's the philosophy I taught Bruce. Avoid fights at all costs. You two guys are the biggest BSs I ever heard. I was gonna go easy on you, but smart asses deserve what they get. I never was gonna go easy on you. Let's drop these guys. No such luck, jerk. Get these guys out of here. Here are your drinks. Your sandwiches will be ready in just a few minutes. Say, are you guys okay? Yeah, we're just getting beat up by the entire cast of the Wild Bunch. Really? We can take care of ourselves, but there was 20 of them. We didn't have a chance. 20 of them? We knocked out five of them, but then the rest of those clowns jumped in. You knocked out five of them? You guys don't look that tough. Well, I'm not saying we're tough or not, but this is one of Bruce Lee's original students. Really? Is that right? Bruce Lee's student? I really like Bruce Lee. He's cute. I've seen most of his movies. Yeah? Chick here taught Bruce Lee when he was living in Oakland. You taught Bruce Lee? Well, yeah. Taught him a few techniques and tiger yell. He didn't have that tiger yell until I taught it to him in Oakland. Great. Could you do it? Do what? The tiger yell. Not here. Oh, come on, please. Just once. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, come on. Uh, do yell. OK. That's it. That's the yell. Hey, Ro, the sandwiches are ready. OK, OK. I'll be right back, you guys. I think she likes you. You ought to ask her out. You really think so? She bought the yell. Maybe I could teach her the yell. I bet she's good at it. <laughs> <laughs> then we have some service over here. Hold on, there's only one of me. Here Looks sandwiches. like there's enough to go around. We get the ham and cheese, right? Right. How long have you been working here? About six months. I haven't seen you guys in here before. No, this is our first time. We're going to be back a lot now. You better try the food first before you say hey, that. Can we have some service over here? I'd like to yeah. order some food. Well, excuse me, I'm going to take a look. Can I help you? Yes, a uh, couple of sandwiches. Make mine roast beef and two beers. And I'll take a tuna sandwich, right? Can I see your ID? ID for a tuna sandwich? For the beer. He's old enough. Then let me see your ID. I'll have to show you anything. I don't have to bring any beer. Lady, are you giving us a rough time? Hey, Phil. Yeah? No ID, no beer, right? That's right. Says who? Look, that's the law. And I'm the owner, and that's the way it's going to be. OK, I'll sell you. Give him a Coke, babe. And give me two beers. Is that OK? Well, that's OK. OK, uh, OK, yeah, fine, right. great. Hey, isn't it great how we can communicate and they can understand us? I like it when people take time with us. Like, yeah. What you two staring at? Food's in front of you. I've seen better behavior in a zoo. <laughs> <laughs> you probably live in a monkey house. <laughs> hey, I know you. You know me? I saved your life once. When was that? Today, I ran over a rat catcher. Here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. mm. What's this for? Give it to your Chinese friend there. Have it back by Tuesday and, and easy on the start. Yeah, we don't like starts in our underwear because when we ride our bikes, it's sort of hard in the butt, you know what I mean? You call those bikes? I seen better bikes ridden by third graders. <laughs> hey, man. Nobody makes fun of our bikes, all right? Hey, look, you can call me a yellow chicken fucking turkey buzzard, but I mean, nobody's going to talk bad about my bike. I'm going to pound you in the table, baby. 
We weren't talking about your bites. We were just saying they were ruined, that's all. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, uh, now you've done it. Now wait, you're hold it. it. Wait a second. If you guys are gonna fight, why don't you eat your sandwiches first? Pay your bill. Then hey, go outside and have your fun. But he started it, though. Yeah, well, we're gonna finish it, so get out of the way. Will you please? Go on back to the kitchen, baby. Hey, don't fool with us. You know who this guy is? Well, let's see. He can't be the tidy bull, man. This is Bruce Lee's top student. That's right. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh. That's right. And he taught Bruce Lee some secret moves. Secret moves. We'll show you our secret move. Number one. <laughs> Secret move number two. Hit him one. All right, you guys, I'm calling hey. the police. Now, tell you what, you better get out of here. Hey, and I mean, cancel fast. our order. I don't yeah. have a family place here. Get out of here and don't come back. You know, Chick, I think we should forget about this Bruce Lee student bit. Uh, it's gotta work sometime. Hey, are you guys okay? I think so. Hey, Phil, get the first aid kit. Don't worry, guys, I'll clean you up. Hey, about uh, going out with me sometime. Not a chance. Uh, how about with me? Least of all with you, Bruce Lee student. <laughs> and what about your tiger show? What happened to that? Oh. Uh. Chick, you always worry about the one that got away. You're going to get old before your time. Yeah, but it's bad for my ego, man. Don't worry about it. We're going to pick a lot of chicks, bro. Darn. Women keep turning me down. It's okay. What do you think? Chick, what are you doing? Hey, look at this. What? Check them out. Wow. <laughs> Looks like our luck's about to change. Let's go in and watch. Hi. Are you gentlemen interested in martial arts? Oh, yes, ma'am. Uh, we'd like to watch. Yeah! Hey! Yeah! Hey! Yeah! Hey! Yeah! Hey! Yeah! Hey! Yeah! The master will be with you shortly. Class is almost over. Look at that movement. Boy, is she beautiful. Hey! Cover! Right points in front of you. Speed up power. Key eye. Say. Everybody moves at the same time. Say. Yeah. I understand you gentlemen would like to learn the martial arts. Yeah, uh, we, uh, yes, uh, we, we like to watch. To watch. It is said, only he who has studied his mental constitution knows his nature. And he who knows his nature knows himself. Yeah, we're interested in checking out the chicks. I mean, the forms. Yeah, the forms. Well, you would only waste your time to be observers. Did you see all the girls here? Yeah. It's going to be like shooting ducks in a barrel. It's going to be like picking up girls in karate school. That's what it's going to be like. Yeah. Hey, my belt's too long. Yeah, mine too. Yeah, let's wrap around twice. Hey, let's make a deal. No fighting over women. If one guy gets deep on the women, and then it's off limit to the other guy. Okay. I'll get the brunettes. You get the blondes. Oh. Cover. Uh, 
how do we get in that class over there? You will address all your instructors as sensei. As for classes, you will learn the basics first. Follow me. All right, you guys start kicking now. All right, move. Move. All right, just keep on kicking. OK. Why did you stop? It hurts. If you only concentrate on your kicks, the pain will go away. Yes, master. Junior master. And you, and you better stop with those wise cracks. Or else. Yes! Yes, you understand now? Yes. You understand yes. now? Yes. Yes. Hey, Hi, Kim. <laughs> hey there. Hey. Want a free pizza? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're almost through, Sensei. This is hard work, Sensei. How come nobody else has us? This will teach you not to look at the women, but concentrate on your training. All right, now these are the street fighting techniques I want you to practice on. Practice hard. As soon as you accomplish these techniques, then we're going to something else. Hey, Bert. Hey, I figured out the problem we've been having with these chicks. Well, if you know, why don't you tell me about it? These are tough karate chicks, and we've been treating them too politely. I don't know. Maybe. Remember that book on how to pick up girls? I heard about it. In that book, it said that women like men to talk dirty to them. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. In the book, they interviewed this woman, and she said that they like men to really talk dirty to them. Yeah. Not all girls like it. Of course not. You got to pick the right ones to talk that way to. You know, the real sexy ones. Like, see those down there? See the one that's staying over there with the bag? Yeah. I think she's the type, I can tell. Why, what are you telling me about it? Why don't you give it a try? Because I give her to you. You give it to me? Yeah, I already got one for myself already picked out. I don't know. Go ahead. She's beautiful, man. Well, I'll give it a try. Good. That's the spirit. Talk dirty, huh? Yeah, yeah, right. <clears throat> I work here. I'm also the owner of the Tropicana nightclub downtown. How did I get all this? Hard work. The only way you can get by in this world is by working hard and being serious about what you do. But you two guys, you're not serious about anything. You, okay. okay, no, you let me work. Okay, punch. Okay. I'll punch. I'll punch. I want you two to go on a five-mile run now. Excuse yourself. Okay, Sensei. Okay, Sensei. Sensei. Go. Okay. Okay. Hi, girls. Hi. How are you today? Not too good. We've got headaches. Huh? We've got headaches. Oh, yeah, we got headaches. Five mile run? How about a short walk to a pizza parlor? Good, I'm starved. Nice jogging ally. Yeah, better teach you the rest of this. Take to see a good wife and teach you other ways. Let's act higher.
Well, Master, we're back. That was rough. So I see. Five mile run? Follow me. Us? You will have to stay in this rack all day until you tell me how far you really ran. It was five and a half miles, Sensei, for sure. At least four and a half miles. Yeah, four and a half miles, for sure. Oh, I don't think so. But I will be back in a couple of hours, and I will ask you again. A couple of hours? Hey. You come over? I was wondering if you could do us a favor and get us some water. What'd she say? How should I know? Well, you speak Chinese. She's speaking Japanese. You don't speak Japanese? No. Good thing you weren't born in Japan. How come? Because you wouldn't be able to speak to your parents. Water. Water. Honey, why don't you take a long walk off a short pier? And I hope you die obsessed. Master, I must talk to you now. All right, I have time for you. Those two new students, Bernie and Chick, I don't think it's going to work out. They are not interested in martial arts at all. I tried to get them to practice. I try to teach them new techniques. But every time I turn my back, here they are chasing the girls, trying to pick up the girls. I'm losing patience. Is this a karate studio or a cat house? I agree with you, but I want them to stay. But why, Sensei? Because they're helping us to learn a lesson in patience. Remember. Both of us are still students, too. I might learn patience, but I also might end up in prison for manslaughter. Want to go out to dinner after class? I'm busy. Come on. Give me a break. I'm really great. Yeah. Really? Sensei thinks I'm good. Excuse me? Well, okay, here's my number. What are you so excited about? The girl finally gave me her phone number. Which girl? Went to karate school. Which one? The one with the long hair. Which one with the long hair? The Chinese one. Boy, that really narrows it down. Shh, it's ringing. Police department, Sergeant Reeves. All uh, right, yeah, uh, uh, Hey, uh, I'll call back. What did she say? She's busy. Yeah? Hey, Bernie. What's wrong with me? I'm a good guy. A decent human being. I never hurt anybody. How come all the girls are so mean to me? I'm not doing any better than you. Maybe we're trying too hard. Who wants to try anymore? What do you think? Do you want to quit the club? No. I might quit chasing those girls, but I'm not going to quit martial arts. Good. We'll stick to it then. Let me see.
then 500 punches on the makiguara. Start now. One, oh. two, oh. three. Oh. Pajama party going on up here. May I help you, gentlemen? Oh, we're just checking out the class. We couldn't get tickets to the ballet. I'm sorry, but we don't allow people to watch our classes unless you're planning to enroll here. No way. We wouldn't enroll here. I'll bust anybody's butt in here. You must be a good fighter. He is a good fighter. He can kick buck today, tomorrow. He can kick yours right now. Enough. You better live now. Hey, wait a minute. I'll prove to you I'm a good fighter. I know some of that stuff, too. Hey, hey, Sonny, Sonny, isn't that that Bruce Lee student that we beat a while ago? Yeah, and that's Bruce Lee's goofball <laughs> teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know you taught Bruce Lee. Yes, uh, he didn't know how to play chess until I taught him, Sensei. Oh, chess. Number one. Number one. He is high! What about you now? I gotta go check on those ballet tickets. You all right now? Uh, I think so. And that stuff's pretty good, man. You gotta show me how to do that. Sure. All you have to do is sign up for the classes. I think I will. Don't let him sign up, Sensei. He's a troublemaker. That's right, and this troublemaker will kick your butt, too. Yeah? Well, let's see. Go for it, then. Wait, wait. If you want to fight, both of you have to wait until you become black belts. That will take three years, Sensei. No problem. I can wait. I'll be ready. Until then, no fighting. Or both of you are out of the club. Agree? Yes, Sensei. Get ready. In three years, I'm gonna annihilate you. Where are my pants are really getting some focus in? Good, me too, but my kicks are still weak. Hey, you can see the women's dressing room through this hole. Take a look, take a look. No, that's all right, man. What's the matter? Think she'll like to look at naked girls? Of course I like looking at naked ladies. But there's a big difference in what he's doing and what I do. Well, I think last time you saw a naked girl was in a barber shop on a wall. <laughs> Listen, just keep it up, pal. Just remember what I first told you when I walked into this joint, all right? <laughs> look here, look here, look here. of the Falcon. These masters will help you dedicate yourself, train hard. These masters will help you survive in the street. Some of the styles are Kung Fu, Taekwondo, Jodokang, Wan Hapkido. These are the different styles that will help you.
say for me? Yes. We have a new student that just joined our club. I would like you to teach the basics. But the basics? Since I was upstairs working on a new kata, I was wondering if it's... Teaching what you already know will help you understand it much deeper. The basics? Do you understand the basics? Of course. Then I would like to see if you can teach the basics. All right. Where's the new student? In the dressing room. Do good. I want you to be responsible until the basics are learned. Yes. Ah, uh, Kathy. This is Chick. He will help you with your basics. Yes, Sensei. We'll work on the basics, all of the basics, until she's got them down really good. Good. Hi, welcome to the club. Well, thank you. Is this bell tied right? Uh, yeah, looks good to me. That's the way I used to wear mine. Oh, by the way, you will address all your superiors as sensei. That's tomorrow's lesson. You think about it tonight. We'll discuss it more tomorrow. That's all for tonight. some stretches first. Okay, I'll go downstairs and change them. Okay, okay. Bernie, can you go back upstairs to see if all the weapons are locked up? Yes, Sensei. Hey, Bernie. I'll see you later. Yeah, I got lock up a weapon for Sensei. Oh, Kathy, I was wondering if you're not busy, if we could, uh... Sorry, but I'm busy. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. just gonna stand up and be a man. That's not being a man. That's being a boy who's trying to act like a man. Hmm, I don't know about that. Well, don't get yourself hurt. Oh, anything you worry about me? I just think it's a waste to get hurt in a fight where you don't gain anything. I'll gain respect. Not mine. Hmm, you know what I think? What do you think? I think you worry about me a little. Maybe a little. You know something, Tina? Ah, ah, ah. What's the matter? I got a cramp in my leg. Well, how convenient. No, really. Really? Really? Hi, Kathy. What's the matter? Uh, nothing. Well, you sure look beautiful. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll go up and give Bernie a hand. Uh, he's busy. 
No, I'll help him finish up. Better not. He's up there with Tina. They're getting acquainted. Lucky him. Um, well, I have plans with Tina tonight, but I think she's going to be busy. Say, uh, I wanted to talk to you something. We've been spending a lot of time together, and I was just thinking about all the time. And I actually spend hours trying to figure out all the time that I want to spend with you. I... Nice try, Romeo. What's happening here? What's happening? Today, I was staying in a hot tub. Oh, come on, Chick. Get out of there. Uh, is Bernie finished up there? Not yet, Sensei. He'll, he'll be coming down soon, Sensei. What's happening? I'll go see what's keeping him. Don't go up there, Sensei. Sensei! Don't go up there. Oh. Oh. God, that feels so good. Don't stop. Keep going. What's going on? Oh, hi, Sensei. I got a cramp in my leg. Bernie was taking care of it. All right. When both of you are done, you can come on downstairs. That was close. Quick thinking, Bernie. They don't call me Fast Bernie for nothing. Well, I hope they don't call you Fast Bernie for everything. Just resting. You tired? Yeah. What you got there? Well, it's something I want to give it. A ring? To you. Yeah. It's not worth much, but uh, it belonged to my father. I can't take your father's ring. I want you to wear it. But first, I want to read the inscription that my father had. Uh, engraved here, inside. A journey of thousand miles begins with one step. And with that one step, your future begins. What will the future bring? No one knows. But one thing is certain, if a man Listen to his stomach, he forgets his head. Now, if he listen to his head, he forget his heart. Now, if he listen to his heart, he 
forgets everything. <laughs> By forgetting everything, his life becomes uncertain. advanced to the rank of black belt, the match between him and Bernie will now take place. I do not approve of such a match, but a promise is a promise. Sometimes a match of this type does not provide us with an answer to the problem. But a challenge was served and accepted, and I will honor it. Are you ready? Begin. happy endings. You know, speaking of going steady, I was thinking. About what? Well, we've known one another for over three years. And we've been kind of friendly. Yeah? Go on. And I was thinking we could be more than just friends. Chick, you're really sweet. But? But you're such a jerk. You and Bernie, you're misfits. Especially you. I'm really surprised. We've been sitting here for 10 whole minutes and you haven't spilled anything. Could you imagine if I asked you to come over and visit my relatives? <laughs> you probably trip over a coffee table and end up in a bowl of soup or something. But I know you like me and I know you really care. I'm not blind. So for tonight, I'm going to ask you to come over to my house. I think you deserve that. But do me a favor, Chick. On the way out of here, try not to trip over anything. And when we get to my place, 
Don't trip over the furniture. And please, don't trip over me. Okay? I'll see what I can do. Great. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, this is Santos. I've got the special shipment you were asking for. Good. I'm glad to hear that. I have a feeling we're going to need those articles real soon. When can you deliver? When can you come up with the money? Hey, we've got money. Our organization is financed by the people. And the people deal strictly in cash. That's good because my operation doesn't take credit cards. Now, where do we make the trade? How about your place? Are you kidding? I don't want your bunch showing up at my place. You know that uh, Hudson Junkyard off Highway uh, 17? We can find it. Then I'll deliver the shipment to you there on Tuesday at about noon. We'll be there. Just don't forget the money. Yeah, right. All right, looks like we're in business. Where are we going to dig up the money, boss? The only thing we're going to dig up is that Hood's body. We're going to take all the boys out to that junkyard, pick up the goods, and then we're going to clean house. Yeah, pass the word on to our guys. The Hudson Junkyard, Tuesday, high noon. I smell a double cross, boss. I don't think the boys are going to pay so easily. I don't think so either. Yes. Yeah, this is Santos. I'm going to need the ninja today at the Hudson junkyard off Highway 17. Have them sneak in. Be careful not to be seen. I think there'll be another group hiding in there. My ninja are never seen. Good. Just don't have to stay in hiding unless I get in trouble. And if fighting breaks out? Same as always. Kill the bad guys. Santos, you and I are the bad guys. Maybe you're right, but we're the winners. My ninja will be there soon. Good luck, Santos. Right. Well, that should take care of any double cross. But boss, if trouble starts, you'll be the first one they kill. Not me, I'm not going. Oh, I'll be there, but as a chauffeur. I'm gonna let one of those Mission Street hoods to the dealing. They'll kill him, not me. Which guy are you gonna set up? One that thinks isn't tight with me, but that's getting a little too big for his britches. Tony Limos. Oh, that cigar smoking dude that's hung up on himself? That's the one. Good. Put an extra bullet in for me. I'll get the car. Hey, Sonny. I'll check you later. All right, later. We'll be there in a minute.
Who's the camel jockey? That ain't your business. Where are the guns? Want to see them? Damn right. Excellent. Excellent. Got 70 of them, right? And 80 Browning handguns, all nice and neatly wrapped. Bang! Bang! Uh-huh. Heavy duty. Now we're gonna see about the big payback. The ammunition's in a truck. But first, I want to see some money. <laughs> you get your money. When the people have been freed from their masters, when the wealth has been equally distributed. And the industrial complex has fallen. Then you'll get your money. Listen, buddy, this is a COD business. You get no merchandise until I get the cash, you understand? I think it's you who doesn't understand. Your money will be worth nothing when the people take control. We will all rise up, all the workers of America. And then, we'll take what's ours. You are very foolish, my friend. The people don't want revolution now. They want television, gadgets. In my country, we have always fought for what we believe in. Here, the people believe in nothing, and they will not fight. The only people that will take to the streets will be your women and your men who prefer to live as women. We will fight, and we'll take those guns now. Freedom! this?
I want those two followed and killed, and anyone else they talk to. I just got a feeling we're not out of this yet. I agree. So? We need some firepower. Where can we get some guns? Better than that, we need a fast gun, a quick draw, and a dead-eye shot. Somebody that can pull a gun, cock it, fire, and shoot the eye out of a one-eyed jack before you can cut wind. That's fast. Fastest I've ever seen. Where'd you meet him? When I was in Vietnam. This is where he lives. I just hope he's home. The catch is, will he join us by risking his life? That's not the catch. To him, that's the fun. Chick Henderson, Vietnam. Uh, Come on in. This is my buddy Bernie. And we're in some serious trouble. I wanted to talk with you. What seems to be the problem? Well, we got involved with some gangsters and uh, got some trained killers after us. Yeah, these cats don't carry guns. And Chick said you were fast with your gun. Not fast. Fastest. <laughs> what do you say? Can you give us a hand? Yeah. As a matter of fact, it's been a very slow year. And I've been itching for something to happen. It'll be dangerous. Dangerous? Punk, have you ever been to Vietnam? Uh, no. Well, then you don't know what dangerous is. I used to lead my squads in the most Kong-infested areas. And oftentimes, I was the only one to come out alive. Sound like a tough place to live. Nah. You just have to know how to live. A lot of the troops I worked with were good men, good technicians, good shots. Some of them copied me, started carrying sidearms. But they didn't have the edge. You see, just before they would think about it, to draw their gun, they would stand there and blink an eye, draw a breath, or think it over. <laughs> I won't. To me, to draw and fire are one and the same. I think a man dead, and baby has cleared leather, fired, and holstered, all in the time it took for me to think it. I thought you said he was fast. Fast? I'll show you fast. Oh, that was nice, Tina. Thank you, Sensei. Is anyone else working in the other rooms? Uh, just Sunny down in the courtyard. You seem tired, Sensei. You want me to walk on your back? Oh, that'd be nice, Tina. That'd be nice. How's that, Sensei? Oh, that's good. Almost as good as my... Your wife? Yes, almost that good. Did you ever see her anymore, Sensei? No, no. She's still in Tokyo. Why did you split up? Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked. Oh, oh, that's all right. She likes Tokyo nightlife. I just wanted to train and come to America. So here I am, training in America. She's probably dancing with someone in some Tokyo nightclub right now. But that's all right. It works for both of us. I have arranged everything. I leave for San Francisco in two weeks. I'm happy for you. I was hoping you would change your mind. No, I haven't changed my mind, and I never will. Why are you so stubborn about this? I understand why you want to go to the United States, and I also understand why you've dedicated your life to martial arts. But you have to understand that my life is here in Tokyo, not over there. What you're really saying is not with me. I like you, Ichiro, and I respect you. You are a fine man, but I live in the 1980s. You live 200 years ago. The samurai are long dead. So is that way of life. Don't you ever want to get married again, Sensei? Oh, yes. That'd be good. Well, why don't you? Oh, because no one in their right mind is asking. Well, I'll keep my eyes open for a 
Samurai type wife. Oh, that'd be nice, Tina. You do that. Hey, Tina. What? What is it, Sonny? Where's Chick and Bernie at? I don't know. They never showed up here. I thought you said you saw them. Well, I was walking with them down the street, and we just started dancing, and then all of a sudden Bernie just waved goodbye, and that was it. Well, they'll show up sometime. What's going on? What you guys doing? We're being chased by ninjas. What ninjas? Don't you ever watch any martial arts movies? Of course I do, but what are you guys talking about? I'm talking about real ninjas. You're just imagining things. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Sensei, we need help. What's the matter? We got involved with gangsters and ninjas what? are after us. There goes my massage. We're serious. Like I said, man, it's just your imagination. Plenty, meet my imagination. so they won't attack us. How about Junior Masters Nightclub? Good. Let's get changed. What's going on here? Uh... Wanna go to a nightclub? What? Yes. We'll take her. The ninjas might have seen her come in. I want to keep all of you together. I'll join you there later. What are you gonna do, Sensei? Prepare myself. Do you think we're safe in here, Bernie? 
Yeah, the ninjas only want us. They won't try to do anything in this crowd. Yeah, but one of these times they're gonna waste us too. I wish Sensei would get here. Hey, how's it going? I never seen all yous here at one time. Celebrating something? Well, to tell the truth. Yeah, you know, we just here to kind of kick back, you know how it is. Yeah, we just want to see how Junior Masters Club is doing. You girls look a little nervous. What's wrong? We're looking out for trouble. There's no trouble in this place, as long as I'm head bouncer. Guy come in one time and got out of line, kicked his butt right out the door. Worked him over a little bit, just so he can tell his friends when they come in the club, get out of line, get your butt kicked. I remember one night this guy came in with his girlfriend. And he wanted to impress her by taking me on. I dropped him on his butt. The guy starts to get up, has a switchblade knife. I pulled out my pistol and pointed it right at his chicharrones. He looked at me and by the expression on his face, I can tell the guy said, hey, if I come at this guy with this knife, he's going to blow my chicharrones all over the place. And I won't have no more senoritas. Did that really happen? Eh, let's just say everybody that comes into the club hears a story like that. That's why there's no trouble here, right? Exactly. I thought so. Well, have a good evening, huh? Bye. 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 Adios. Hi, everybody. What a nice surprise. What's going on? We got some trouble. What is it? Ninjas. Ninjas? Attention! Si nos calmamos, todos salen bien. Someone get the fuse box. Bernie, Chick, get the flight lights over in the office. Yes, sir. Okay. Everybody remain calm. must remain here. There is a little matter like the police. Please, ladies and gentlemen, I need your cooperation. Remain calm until the police arrives. Are you kidding? Didn't you see that guard? His spine was snapped like a candlestick, man. I'm not going to hang around here and let that happen to me. No way, Jose. And you or nobody else is going to stop me. See? You know, I think Romero's got the right idea. Now, was that so bad? The lights are back on, and nobody, but nobody got hurt but our guard. You mean no one yet? You know what, friend? You just may be right. Now that everyone is in agreement, Tomas, call the cops. Got it, boss.
Well? Lane's been cut. Lane's been cut. cut. Look, Ninja, Mateo, go get the toys from the back room. See you, Jefe. Andre. <laughs> The key, where's the key? I don't have it. Okay, get in that side. Move now. Please! Hey, Mateo. Get yourself to a hospital and get fixed up. All I need is one good I arm know, to fight Mateo. with, Hefe. Listen to me and go to the hospital. All right, Hefe. Everybody ready? What about the girls? The girls stay. No, no. The girls coming with us. I'm keeping everybody together. Is everybody ready? All right. When we hit the streets, I want you guys to keep up with me. All right, let's go. Ho! It's kind of hard to explain. Look, my class is almost over for tonight, so you're going to have to leave. Oh, well, uh, could we sign up? This is a ladies' exercise class. Oh, uh, I didn't notice. Look, miss, I ran the night cloud down the block and we have some problems now. Well, what kind of trouble? It's hard to explain. Where's your phone? Where's your phone? Well, Where's your phone? on the desk. Phone's dead. Oh, no. They really work fast. Here we go again. Get ready. You ladies live around here or what? Uh. It's I, it's I. It's I, it's I, you're I, it's I.
Süd ist das Sein. Ja, ich esse. Ja, ich esse. Ja. Where's the girls? The ninjas got them. They should have stayed at the club. Where'd they take them? I don't know, Sensei. Think. Guess. Anything. The ninjas work for Santos. Sure. They took them to Santos. Santos? Where is this Santos? Only place we know of is his warehouse. All right. And that's where we're going. Let's go. In for a penny, in for a pound. One for all and all for one. Let's kick butt. Bunch of jerks. This place is empty. Are you sure this is it? Yeah. We, we used to work here. I feel like we're walking into Dodge City. Dodge City is nothing compared to what we've been through. Hey, look, that is the girls. Nobody fools with my organization. Well, let's make it. Go. Get up. Yeah. 
three of our students because of their bravery and their skills in the rescue of two of our female students. Because of this, they will receive the special Medal of the Falcon. 